Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up payments here in Maimon. Now I know money, payments, it can feel like a bit of a big and daunting step, but don't worry, it's super simple and quick to do and we're gonna have a look at that right now. You might see something like did this, it's still red, so we can either follow our link here or on the left side go to financials and settings to get started. Now the first step is to select a payout country. <laughs> what is a payout country you might ask? Well, Payout country is the country where your um, bank account is located. So if you're organizing a conference in France and your bank account is in France, you just select France. If you're organizing a conference in the United States, for example, but your bank account is still in France, you still select France, right? It doesn't change anything about your conference location, just the bank account. Now, why is this the very first step in our setup? process? Well, the reason is that the fully integrated Maimon payment system is only available in 47 countries around the world. That's all Western countries and many more, but a few countries obviously are not supported by it. In those few cases, you're going to have to register payments manually. We're going to have a look at how that works in the second half of the video. But for now, we're going to focus on the Maimon payment system and how you can get that configured. All right, so let's select France as our country because here the Maimon payment system is supported. All right, we now see a rundown of how that Maimon payment system actually works. So delegates will be able to pay right here on Maimon as part of the application process. Um, you will be able to see that directly on Maimon without having to do anything else. And you will also, in case it's necessary, refund delegates right here on the platform. Now, we are working together with a payment provider Stripe here. So that means essentially every Monday Stripe will send you the money you have received and earned from those applications. Now what's also happening, I wanna point that out, is that of every transaction happening, we're gonna take off of that 7% as a transaction fee. Part of that is to just make the payment happen in the first place. And part of that is to make sure that we can continue to operate the platform. You won't have to pay anything yourself directly. We will just deduct that from all those payments happening. All right, let's now start our setup where the next step is to provide a payment contact. Now, it is important here that you provide a real person and not like your society name or some other fake data you might come up with. Um, this is important because again, the payment provider Stripe, I mentioned it before, they will later on have to make sure that you are a real person and not a robot trying to use their system. You might even have to upload an ID or other documents to verify you are indeed such a real person. That's why it's important we select real person data here. Now I'm just gonna select myself here, uh, but you could also fill it in for somebody else if you're doing it, for example, for a member of your society. So let's select myself here. We're just missing one thing down here, the phone number, and I'm gonna Fill in just our Maimon support number. This should work. Let's finish this. And now you see we're here on to the next step where we do have to provide a bank account. Now, this is important because obviously Maimon will have to send you money after your delegates pay through the platform. Or more accurately, I should say, our payment provider Stripe will send you that money every Monday once delegates obviously start um, paying and everything. So let's fill in an account holder, fill in myself here again. Uh, I'm going to provide an IBAN. Uh, don't worry, this is uh, not a real IBAN number. This is just a testing account. So don't try to send me money through that. Once everything is filled in, we just click confirm and we have to wait a moment. Now this will take a second because what's happening in the background now is that all the data is being sent to our service and those of Stripe. Oh, that actually went quicker than I thought and you will land on this screen here. And now this is where you can always come back to eventually as well to make sure and check in uh, with whatever setup configuration you have done for this your payments now. Uh, in the top, we can see payouts, participant payments, and identity verification. Those are three quite important indicators. Now, payouts, this is essentially money being sent from Stripe to your account. The other thing is participant payments, that is, delegates and whoever else might be applying to, to your conference, whether they are able to pay through the Maimon platform. It's all green, so that's possible right now. Identity verification, that is not green, uh, green yet, but that will turn green um, surely once you come back the next time, because it always takes a moment for that to go green. But as you can see, so long as those two are green, 
you are at least able to take payments and already receive payouts to the account you provided. Later on, you might have to provide identity verification um, or also home address ver verification, as I mentioned, just to make sure that Stripe can be confident that you're not a robot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're now done uh, by with setting up our um, payments for our conference that is in one of those supported countries. We're now gonna switch on over to uh, what it would look like if you're in a country that is not supported by the Stripe or Maimon payment system. Let's go. All right, back we are now, and it is time now to set up our conference in a country that does not support the Maimon payment system. Of course, all the other great features are still available to you, including the amazing assignment and application process, except that at the very end of the application process, delegates will not be able to pay you right then and there, but they're gonna have to um, follow instructions that you provide them with on how they can pay otherwise. Now, how we set this up, we'll check this out right now. So let's select our country. In this case, time, this case, we're looking at Egypt, which is one of those countries indeed that does not support the Mayan payment system. All right, so self-managed pay managed payments in Egypt include you having to do a manual payment registration. That means that essentially you look at your bank account and whenever a delegate has paid, you will be able to record that and make sure that they, are, will, be, they will be allowed to participate in your conference. We also have a PayPal integration in the self-managed payment system, and I'll explain to you more about this in just a second. Now, we still have to, at the same time, be able to operate the Maimon platform. The way it works in the Maimon payment system is that on every transaction that happens on the platform itself, we take 7% off of that to make sure that we can enable the transaction and the operation of the platform. To still be able to enable the operation of the platform and not have to charge you anything in advance, we decided to instead enable a system where we bill you 5% of every delegate that has been assigned at your conference. So it's not once a delegate applies that you have to pay something. It's not once a delegate has been accepted. It is only once you have assigned them a position within your conference and essentially have used all the Maimon features. And we believe it's absolutely fair that we bill you that given percentage of the delegate fee. So, um, we will now proceed with that and have a look at what this setup process looks like. So the first step here now is participant payment methods. And I'm gonna just take myself away from the screen so you can see more of this. So payment instructions is one thing where you have absolute freedom. You can enter anything in here that you would like. So for example, if Egypt does not have PayPal, but another alternative to that, you can provide a link where people can pay outside of bank transfer and outside of PayPal, or if you are in a different country which might have a different payment system entirely. You can provide a link to that or other instructions on how people can pay you. Another thing you can enter is a bank account. Let's just put FR1234567899. That looks a bit like a bank account. Um, and you can also provide a PayPal client ID and client secret. Now, that's not just your personal PayPal link, and again, I know PayPal is not supported in all countries either, but it's an, uh, supported in many more countries than the normal Maimon payment system. Now, this payment, PayPal client ID and client secret, again, is not just like your PayPal link, but uh, a deeper integration of PayPal into the platform once again. And that, actually this time, even though all the other methods don't allow it, PayPal payments allow us to register once somebody has paid. So I know it's not completely the Maimon payment system, but it's still a way for you, even if you're outside of those countries, to enable payments that are automatically registered. So this is the exception to obviously bank accounts because we can't monitor your bank account and see what's happening there. All right, we just happened with the bank transfers though, that's fine for me. My delegates will be able and have to indeed pay through that. Let's finish this. Now we just have to provide that billing information. Again, as I mentioned, once you assign somebody, we're gonna bill you 5% of uh, this person's fee to that credit card. Now I'm just gonna enter a fake credit card here. Um, that is one for testing systems. And we're gonna have that expand 26, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five as a zip code. And we confirm that now. Again, all the details of that are obviously also written within Maimon, uh, so you can have a look at another look at how exactly that works 
as you're setting things up. Now, here we see our overview page and here we have all the options once again and we can change things as we go along and especially up top here, we see the key information. Billing is active so we can bill you essentially for assigned delegates. We see that you enter the bank account details and we see that PayPal has not been activated because we did not provide a client ID and a client secret. You can still change your bank account uh, information just in case you want to use a different one uh, further down the road or you had a typo maybe. And you can also update your payment instructions down here. Now that's it. That is everything there is to it and I hope you have a good idea now on how you can set up and manage your payments here on MyMan. Now there's one more thing I want to point out and that is the let us help you button here in the top right. This really allows you to get in touch with us. We're happy to help you anytime in case you have any questions at all on how to set things up or even if you have set, set things up on how you can manage it along the way. We're always there for you. Now have fun organizing your conference and I'll see you in a different tutorial.